Hey, she was seven. I'm back. Okay, so this video is going to be about as a woman, you should never initiate sex. Okay? And the reason I say this is because sometimes women become overly aggressive sexually and they, you know, pressure the man, and this is incorrect. Okay, a man is the one who's supposed to pursue you sexually and they like to, okay? It, it feels like a challenge. It, it feels like they've won something. It, it feels like they've conquered something. If you're chasing him, it's like, you know, he feels like the woman. So you need to uh, um, let him chase you. I was, <laughs> and I know sometimes when you get in a relationship, sometimes you're just like, um, you know, in a habit of, you know, having sex and stuff. And then, you know, you start to pursue him when you want it and setting him instead of letting him pursue you. Um, I was on Facebook scrolling the other day and I have a, like a few male friends on Facebook and I was reading one of their posts and this guy, you know, he has money and he's with his girlfriend and you know, he spoils her rotten y'all. I mean, and so he was like, man, um, this girl is always trying to get me for sex and I, you know, I feel like I wish I could chase her every once in a while. She's always chasing me. I, she, I don't even feel like a man anymore. So basically what he was saying is, you know, let the man do the chasing. You know, it's unnatural for a woman to chase behind a man anyway. Okay. This, this will set things off balance and you don't want that in your relationship. So if you want something and he's not in the mood or which is rare for a man, you know, do little things to get him in the mood. You don't have to say, oh, I want some now. You know, you can walk around in a skimpy outfit and hope that that raises awareness. If it doesn't, you know, maybe put on a sexy movie. If that doesn't help, then he just don't want to have sex at that time, you know. Don't take it personally. Don't say, oh, you don't want me no more. Sometimes guys are not always focused on sex or maybe you've been giving it to him too much and now he's bored with it. You know, that's why I say sometimes you need to withhold yourself and not, you know, try to um, do it all the time. Because, you know, once a guy has sex with a girl so many times, it gets boring and they have to become excited about it again. You know, so if you're trying to over sex your man, if you're always aggressive towards him, if you don't let him do the chasing, believe me, he's going to get bored of you even faster. And he's going to be like, oh my God, you know, I wish I could feel like a man again. Or I wish that she would give me the opportunity to chase her. Or I wish she would, you know, slow down. It's not fun when the woman's the aggressor. Now, some men like this every once in a while, but not consistently. Like, maybe just once it's flattering to them. But all the time, it's not flattering, okay? <clears throat> um, like, you know, when a guy is attracted to you in the beginning and it's like all oh, all you want to do is you know have sex and then after a while you start feeling insecure and so you start demanding it more because you think he's like becoming uninterested but truly he's just used to you and he he is um comfortable enough not to be on you all the time he's comfortable enough to you know um not have to prove his manhood all the time and how you know he he's used to you now so you know, you got to keep things fresh. Like I said, a lot of times men just become bored of the same thing over and over and they need a break. And it's not that they want to go cheat. It's just that they want to regroup in their mind. They want to find new ways that you're sexy. They want to see, you know, how long, you know, it'll take before they are crazy about you again and want to pursue you. They want to see, um, you know, they want to chase you. Okay, this is why a lot of people like, uh, present challenges even when they're in relationships they don't like if you're too nice if everything is perfect if you give sex all the time and it gets boring so that's why you have to keep stuff interesting you know don't always be available don't always give it to him when he asks for it you know um keep things different keep him guessing you know don't be the aggressor because you feel like he's not into you anymore okay that's that's not really the reason if he wasn't into you he'd be gone by now or he'd be cheating but if you know he's not cheating and he's just not 
sexually into you like he used to be in the beginning, that's a good sign because it means he's comfortable enough around you to relax and not to, you know, feel pressured to, to do all this, this, and that. So, hold back, ladies. They make special toys for you, you know. <laughs> um, you don't have to always be aggressing the man. And a lot of people think that, I mean, a lot of women think that if they oversex their man, they won't be going out to look for, you know, sex anywhere else. But the truth is, if you chase your man too much, they're going to feel like, oh, well, I miss chasing women. You know, I'm not under sex, but I just miss chasing a woman. So the the thrill of the chase is what make a lot of men cheat because it's not the lack of sex. It's like, oh man, I, I, I miss that feeling of going after something and accomplishing it and getting it. I can't even do that in my house because she's just giving it away or she's throwing it at me. You know, this is no fun. This is no challenge. So that's why you have to play hard to get, even when you're still in a relationship, even when you're at the beginning of a relationship, even all of that, you, you have to play the game, okay? It's all mental, okay? Once someone gets what they want and it's not fun anymore, they, you know, they're off to the, the next thought in their mind. So this is why women have to hold themselves back. This is why my women have to say, oh, you know, I'm not in the mood tonight. Even if you are, sometimes don't give it to him every time you ask for it because this keeps him, you know, wanting more. No, you know, don't deny all the time. But every once in a while, you got to you gotta decline. <laughs> um, and believe me, it works. Y'all cannot, y'all cannot go by, uh, like, y'all can't go by certain things because I know I'm a married woman. I've been married since... Um, 2006 and I've been with the same person since 2001 I know everything how a man thinks okay um, and for these modern guys in this modern time who want to be just like a woman who want equal treatment to a woman you know these rules still apply because deep down inside they're still men and they are confused they don't know what they want sometimes that's why they don't really have an excuse as to why they cheated or as to why you know certain things you know, happen in a relationship because they're confused. They're mentally confused. They don't know if they want to cheat or stay with you or if they want to be single or they want to have a family because they're so confused because they're too busy trying to be equal to a woman. Okay, now if they would just like take on their role as a responsible male and, you know, protective provider role, things would be a lot different. Things would be more clear. And, you know, a lot of people would probably stay together longer. A lot of people would probably get along better in relationships. A lot of people would probably fall in love faster, um, get married. Um, but you see, there's this struggle, like men wanting to be equal to women in relationships. And, you know, it's a turnoff for a lot of women, you know. And then if they do accept this man as an equal, then they feel like, you know, dang, I'm equal to a man. So it's okay if I say, hey, I want some sex right now. Give it to me because psh, I do the same thing as you do. There's no gender role in this relationship. So a lot of times these gender roles get confused. And, you know, if there's not a set, you know, I'm the pursuer, you're the lady, you know, if there's not a set mentality, then things are just going to be all messed up you know the man will walk out the house feeling like the man be the man at work then he comes home and he feels like the woman or the child because there's no boundaries and there's no roles in place there's no res mutual respect from male and female in place you know so he comes home he feels totally different therefore his sex drive is not that of a masculine man you know, he's not going to pursue you if you make him feel like a woman or if you make him feel like a child. So you have to remember that, ladies. You can't, like, be so overly, you know, masculine as far as the way that you handle your relationship, you know. Or you can't be so overly independent as to where, you know, you say, well, I make more money than you. I should get sex when I want it, you know, blah, 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 blah. Because you wouldn't want a man doing that to you. So, 
there has to be balance. You have to set a roles. You have to do all that because if you do have kids, your kids are watching this. You know, your kids are watching the gender roles in your home and they're going to say, well, like, especially the men, especially the boys, the little boys are going to be like, well, mommy works. She cooks, she cleans, she looks pretty. She has makeup on. Uh, everybody likes mommy. She used to come home and lay on the couch and watch TV. I want to be like mommy. Okay, so y'all understand what I'm saying. Okay, I'll see y'all later. Thank you so much. Thumbs up. And I'll answer all your questions in the comments. Bye.